I don't really think that people understand what the global birth rate decline is going to do for the global economy. Now, a lot of us get products and things made from Asia. And with the decline in birth rate in some Asian countries, that is going to impact us here in the United States. And I don't think that people are aware of what is going on. That is why I keep having these discussions on my pages. Now, let's look at this title. Young workers in Asia turn away factory jobs. I'm going to do this um, post in two different articles to paste things together. Young people in Asia don't want to work in factories anymore. And this has implications for global consumers. Um, the Wall Street Journal reports that Asia is having a big problem staffing its factories with younger workers. Companies that make goods for brands like Lowe's and Hasbro are having a hard time recruiting and retaining younger workers in places that include India, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Vietnam. Why it matters. If the trend holds, consumers worldwide will need to prepare themselves for higher prices on everything from clothing and electronics to toys and furniture as multinations pay more for labor or expand automation. Workers are now more educated than their parents were, which means they have a wider range of job opportunities. So they are not down for that, I'll just say it, slave labor. It, I mean, they're working for pennies for things that we are paying hundreds for. And these people are uh, like, uh-uh, get somebody else to do it. Now, this is the part that I want to, um, this bullet point. Young people in Asia are also having fewer children, which means they face less pressure to earn steady wages. This goes also back to the lying flat movement. They are not buying a bunch of stuff. And if people have less children, then that means that they are not worried about getting a house. They're not worried about buying a new dishwasher. They're not worried about all of the things that you have to buy when you are a parent. Okay. Social media has also exposed younger Asians to alternative lifestyles and cultures. Once they can see the Kardashians, they don't want to do factory work anymore. So this goes back to people wanting to kind of shame folks for wanting to do something else. And they brought up the Kardashians, I think is bigger than the Kardashians. Some people just don't want to do exploitative labor. The big picture, while automation can be a solution, manufacturers say there's also a lack of young engineers interested in applying their skills to factory operations. The hunt for cheap labor has always been a dehuman has always dehumanized a large portion of the world's population. So, you know, we always are trying to outsource. America is always going somewhere else to exploit other countries and some countries some younger people are like uh-uh get someone else to do it so this is going to become a point of contention here in the united states where we're always looking to buy 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 and want things cheaper 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 now to this article which just came out china's working population will shrink in the coming decades and keep the nation's economy from surpassing america's so this just came out literally I am sure that all women are tired of their wombs being looked at as a gold mine or dollar signs. But that is basically what these governments do, these leaders do. Like, oh my God, we need more people so that we can make money. And so women are opting out. Now, let's get into China. China's aging population will have a direct impact on its ability to compete with the U.S. and other nations on the world stage. The latest U.N. projections say China will lose nearly 50 percent of its population by the end of this century. Further, the Terry Group researchers say it's not only overall population decline that poses a threat, but the climbing proportion of elderly people. In 1990, 5% of Chinese people were 65 or older. That's nearly tripled to 14% today. And the Terry Group anticipates the cohort making up 30% of the population by 2050. If people do not understand what is going on with that, that means somebody is going to have to take care of these people. But people are not, women are not wanting to have babies. These skewed proportions are pushing China's overall dependency burden back up. In 1975, there were 13 times as many children as elderly in um, China. By 2050, the UN projects that there will be twice as many elderly as children. And this article came with a graph. Let's look at it. Okay, if you look at this graph, you'll see that 
from the 1950s up until like, let's just say 2000, the proportion of elderly people, which is in the lighter green, stayed pretty much the same, even though, um, you know, you see that little pop on top. It's always been a lot of elderly people. But once you get to 2020, actually, once you get to 2010, the numbers start, the, the gap starts widening. So now there are the, the amount of children have been on the steady decline. And now the amount of elderly people are on a sharp incline. So there is a big old gap that will have to be overcome or folks are just going to have to figure out what to do with all these older folks. Over, the, over several decades, China has undergone a shift from high mortality and high fertility to low mortality and low fertility. This year, China's population shrank for the first time since 1961. Chinese government data illustrates and also, we know that China does not typically like to post um, data, data that um, speaks to the, the population shifts and the things that are going on. China's population is not only aging, but it's also entering a gathering decline that will be difficult, if not impossible, to reverse. Gone are the days when China's deep reservoir of labor seemed inexhaustible. Think about what they just said deep reservoir of labor seemed inexhaustible they really look at women like resources to be mined they put it out here like the economy the economy is run on women having babies <laughs> this is crazy but so this this is basically what these um these articles are saying according to the consultancy firm by the next decade the country will be losing an average of 7 mil million working age adults each year which will accelerate to 12 million a year by the 2050s the un projects china's working age population to shrink by three-fifths by 2100 for comparison, between 1990 and 2010, when China's demographics were favorable, its working age population grew 1.7% per year on average. Those figures are on pace to soon reverse and instead of the working age population will contract by an annual rate of 1%. All things being equal, this is nearly three percentage point reduction in the growth rate of the working age population, which will translate into an equivalent reduction in the growth rate in, 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 in employment and potential GDP. I, I don't know if there are any other nerds who watch trends and watch data to see how this works. But even if you don't watch, you should know that if there are not enough people to work in these factories, it will impact your Christmas. It'll impact your home's bottom line. It's going to impact us globally because China and other countries, other countries that are patriarchies have devalued women to the point where women are just like, they don't want to have kids. They don't want to do it. They don't want to participate and be cogs in the machines that are looked to to save the country. So, you guys jump in. I know that this has been a long um, this has been a long article, but jump in. Tell me what you think.